at CFC. This is Colin Box, director of Capital Football Club here, giving you an update this week. I don't have a ton of stuff to report because it seems like this is kind of the norm for the time being. Uh, but I do want to say we have received a little bit of news and with the governor's announcements about uh, opening up, I did speak with uh, the director of Oregon Youth Soccer earlier today. They said they have a board meeting this evening where they will be working out some return to play protocols for all Oregon Youth Soccer clubs across the state. And so whatever they're going to say, we will look for that to be out here and, and be able to follow that after that. Um, we've been looking at what other what other countries are doing, what other clubs are doing in other parts of the, the country where things are starting to open up. And I've included a couple links on what things are going to look like in this page if you'd like to see those. Um, have an idea. I think what we're going to do is going to look fairly similar to what other people are doing around the world. I know some of you are really, really eager to get back onto the field. Others of you may be feeling nervous. Um, and I, I want to say that we are, we're being cautious. We're consulting with a lot of people on this, both in the community, as well as uh, our board it has a couple key um, leaders in the medical community in our, on our board that we've been working with through this whole process uh, to advise. I think whatever the return to play looks like, we will make sure that it's uh, done with great care. In other news this week, um, our coaching announcements for the 2020 and 2021 competitive season were announced. So take a look at those if you haven't seen those already. We have registration open for our current competitive players. We're welcoming you guys back. Um, that ends on Friday, this Friday the 15th. So if you haven't registered yet, please do that. It takes just a couple minutes to get that done. That'll help us tremendously uh, just as we look to the future to try and figure out what things are gonna look like and be ready to take the field whenever that opportunity is available to us. Uh, for juniors families that uh, we, we talked about giving a credit to that have reached out for that, just hold tight. Um, the registration software still hasn't updated yet, which will allow us to put that credit into your account. So just hang in there and we will get that to you when it, when it comes from them. And uh, I, I do wanna say um, thank you to all of you in this time we have some of you that have been very generous and donated your fees uh, in this time, and I just want to say thanks. It's great to know that um, you guys support what we're doing and believe in the mission that we have, which we do believe that we're more than just a soccer club, that what we're doing is having an impact on kids' lives in a positive way and on uh, our community. So appreciate your support in this challenging time for so many of us, um, everybody receiving different kinds of challenges in this time, but um, really, really thankful for, for you all. And last, I just want to highlight a, a moment this week where I saw our soccer community be more than a soccer club. There was a moment where our uh, 2003 girls team reached out to one of their teammates who lost a loved one in this time by leaving flowers, a care package, and some notes of encouragement on her front doorstep. And uh, it just showed me that um, we are more than a soccer club. And I want to say a big shout out to those girls who took the initiative to go and take care of their teammate in this time. Um, so. Thank you to everybody. Um, we are more than a soccer club. Um, we're excited to get back out onto the field. If you do have questions, I know that there's a lot of uncertainty in this time, please reach out to me, reach out to your coach, reach out to our staff. Um, we may be slow to respond sometimes a little bit because of the nature of how things are right now, but um, know that we do wanna hear from you and uh, are, are open and available to answer any questions that you might have or tell you we don't know because sometimes that's the answer at this time. So hang in there. Um, we'll continue to give you guys these updates weekly, and uh, we look forward to seeing you all on the field when, uh, when that opportunity is available to us. So have a good week, and we'll see you soon, hopefully. Thank you.